Ever looked up at the Milky Way and wondered, are we alone? What would it be like to stumble upon a civilization so advanced they've mastered their entire galaxy? Buckle up, space cadet, because today we're blasting off to Galaxy 381, home to a mind-blowing Type 3 civilization. But before we warp speed, let's rewind. Imagine Earth millions of years ago, a scrappy Type 0, barely scratching the surface of its potential. Fast forward through generations of sweat and innovation, harnessing solar, wind, and geothermal like a cosmic buffet. Boom, Type 1, Earthlings ruling their planet. Colonies sprout on Mars, lunar cities shimmer, and we're hurtling towards Type 2, lords of our solar system. Now, picture this, humanity, not just masters of one star, but puppet masters of the entire galaxy. That, my friend, is a Type 3 civilization, and Galaxy 381 is our playground. What exactly is a Type 3 civilization? Exactly. You're about to find out, but in short, it means humanity can now control its entire galaxy. Let's go over what that means for this civilization in greater detail. One of the first things you'll notice is Dyson's fear of the various stars in this galaxy. These hypothetical megastructures would be made of extremely strong advanced materials capable of covering a star and withstanding its extreme heat. Once completed, this structure will distribute power throughout the solar system. This will enable the civilization to build and power things that are bigger and better than ever before. Interstellar travel is possible colonization of the planet. And there's more that we'll get to later. You may notice a couple of. Then there's the Dyson Swarm, a group of satellites rotating around a star, collecting its energy. And finally, there's the Dyson Bubble. This one is a bunch of mirrors floating in space and near the star. The idea is that the mirrors will redirect the star's energy to where it's needed. Okay, we stared at the sun long enough. Now it's time to experience the different ways you can travel around. You might fancy a hyper-advanced spaceship SpaceX can't come close to what a Type 3 civilization offers. How? Well, you could fly into a wormhole or a warp drive that allows you to travel faster than the speed of light. Just make sure you set your coordinates correctly. And if you want to take a slower route without using any fuel, you can try traveling via solar sails. This new spacecraft uses large mirrors to propel itself, using solar radiation pressure from a star. This will help you travel longer distances without the need to carry any fuel. And it won't just be about humans having new ways to travel. We'll also have things like launch loops to send materials around space. These would be long, thin cables that would help materials travel through solar systems. They'd be constructed in a straight line to help the materials maintain their momentum as they traveled through the tube. This would allow civilizations to easily transport materials throughout the solar system, making space colonization faster than ever. Speaking of which, what would colonizing space be like? Well, let's take our super-advanced spaceship and warp over to the Type 3 civilization's most populated planet. You'll be overwhelmed by an advanced and futuristic space colony as soon as you arrive. But it wasn't always this way. When this civilization was a Type 0 millions of years ago, this planet appeared to be similar to Mars or Venus today. The environment was extremely hazardous to human life. It lacked atmosphere and it appeared impossible that billions of people could ever live there. But that has changed over millions of years. A large part of this massive change was due to a Type 3 civilization's power to terraform planets. That has given this civilization the ability to modify key aspects of planets in the solar system, from adjusting the atmosphere to changing the entire surface. This could be done in multiple ways. A Type 3 civilization might be able to nuke a planet, altering its topography and releasing any gases the planet might have. They could also release genetically engineered organisms that can live on and alter the planet in various ways. You could release an organism that might be able to suck up or change any toxins in the atmosphere, regardless of the method used after just a few decades. A Type 3 civilization might have a hyper-advanced planet that looks like this, and it wouldn't just be one or two measly planets being colonized. Any planet they wanted to inhabit form and populate terraform. They'd do it. This civilization would have the technology and power to do so whenever it pleased. Even a planet's orbit could be altered at any time. If the civilization really likes a planet but dislikes its location, they can relocate it to a more habitable region of the solar system. This would be accomplished through the use of large-scale thrusters and the ability to alter gravity. However, planets would not be the only places where humans would live in a Type 3 civilization. Let's go look at those. Remember the Dyson Sphere we looked at earlier? That's a megastructure. And there are a lot more of them throughout the galaxy. 
This habitat is a massive rotating cylinder. It's six and a half kilometers in diameter and 26 kilometers long. This megastructure would house millions of people and could feel exactly like Earth. We could control the temperature, the weather, the day and night cycle, whatever we wanted. If we wanted to build these megastructures in our universe, well, we'd need to mine almost every planet in our solar system. But in this Type 3 civilization, it's no biggie, since we could seamlessly travel to multiple solar systems that would be easy to mine a few solar systems that we don't really care about. Now, in addition to all these incredible advancements, humanity would be moving toward a Type 4 civilization. This means that they'd have access to multiple universes and they'd slowly be making their way toward immortality. Want to see what happens in the other types of civilizations? With that said, thanks for joining me on this galactic day trip. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies, the universe is waiting to be explored.